you filmed this, yeah? Well, I'm Andy, I'm a cool MC, I'm chilling out in a place to be. The place to be is where I'm at. You don't like my lyrics, you might as well scat. Here's my story of why I'm here. If you get the message, give me a cheer. I went out robbing night and day. The judge said I led my friends astray. The man reminded me in custody. I said, you can't do that, but who is she? I pointed at a girl at the back of the room. I said, what a babe, and I sang on my tune. She looked at me, said, you better worry, because you won't be going home in much of a hurry. I said, your bitch, what are you trying to say? I looked her in the eye, but she looked the other way. I knew she wanted me for signs showing but the copper said we better be going downstairs getting booked in i heard a little voice i gave a little grin it was that girl come to check me out i said your bitch she said don't shout she said to the copper can she see me alone he gave a little nod but started to groan we were sat alone in a little office she tried to approach so i gave her a kiss she knew what she was doing she'd done it before she pulled me backwards and locked the door i tried to pull away but she wouldn't stop so i slid my hand up a silky top inside my jeans things were going stiff i don't really smoke but i needed a spliff she then moved backwards, up against the table, lifted up her skirt and made herself stable. I couldn't help looking, but to my surprise, she wore no panties, I couldn't believe my eyes. A sweet little pussy, seeping wet. She said, take me, I moved in like a jet. Next two hours, lots of fucking. On top of me, the bitch was bucking. When we finished, she gave me a smile and said, oh yeah, I've come to discuss your file. She said, by the way, my name is Gail. I'm here to see that you're fit and well. She said, there's no problem, you seem fine to me. So now you're going to the place to be. She said, I've got to go and I asked why she answered with a smile and a kiss goodbye that's what happened to the cool andy when i got sent to the penitentiary three year of my life and i remember as a kid uh, me and my mum always used to come on the bus and it were always really busy loads of shops whereas now years down the line everything's shut down um, there's not many people uh, it's all pound shops and I go to Manchester Bury, come in for the, for bits and bobs, but uh, the rest of it. I mean, you couldn't spend uh, half a day in like you can, you can in say Bury or Manchester, because otherwise you have all that land down where it's going to be built. So it's going to be derelict, isn't it? And the market at the moment down there that was only a temporary measure, but it's been there about two years now. So how long's temporary? <laughs> I don't think people come in unless they really need to at the minute. Probably go to Bury or. Manchester, you know, there's trams, so it's quite easy to get around different places. So yeah, needs doing up definitely. I don't, I don't think it's for that they should be spending uh, 70 million on a new complex when they've uh, kicked us all out of our market uh, over the road and brought us here. Now they're going to kick us off here. Here we've been um, like forgot about all this trade we built up over 20 odd years, and we get nothing for it in return. I mean, we're just getting booted, thrown to the wolves. Nobody gives a flying. Uh, it's the market we are more bothered about that they're not, you know, sorting it out properly. We don't know anything. They haven't told us when we're going to move or anything so properly. It's just not enough information, and so we don't understand this. Keep building more centres and more centres. Why don't they use the empty buildings for starters? I think it's a disgrace how we have been treated. I've traded on here for 38 years and we've been put down here, we've been left here to rot really and Rochdale has a chance now with all this money from the government or wherever it's coming from to build a decent proper market and make it back into the old traditional town like the old traditional market was when I used to push my eldest boy round in a pushchair.